Is remote closing actually a good career? Now, this is an incredibly popular career that you probably keep hearing about over and over again from YouTube influencers and people on Instagram, etc. And in this video, I'm gonna be breaking it down, explaining exactly what a remote closer is, how much they earn, the demand for the job, the job satisfaction, as well as the X factors that come along with this career. And then at the end, I'm gonna give it an overall score from one to 10. So if you appreciate me doing this type of video, go ahead and let me know by gently tapping that like button and let's jump into it right now. Okay, so first of all, what exactly is a remote closer? Basically, this is a professional that works in sales and helps to finalize deals, right? So you have several different types of salespeople. You have what are known as setters and then you have closers. And this is typically for high ticket products. So we're talking about solar, software, insurance, or high ticket coaching or consulting programs. And the setter is the person that originally talks with a prospect and they make sure that they are qualified to buy the product. And they also make sure that this is a person who's interested in the product. Shut up and take my money. Then the closer is the person that they get on the phone with for a longer conversation. And they're the one who actually closes the deal. Do it I'm now. It. Do it now. Shake my hand. Yeah. Now, closing typically requires higher levels of skill. It's also more stressful and you can typically make more money, but it's also a bit harder to get into. A lot of the times people who go into this type of career will start off as setters. And by the way, this position is known as a ton of different things and it's gonna be different depending on the industry that you're in. For instance, if you sell coaching and consulting, you might be known as a high ticket closer. And if you're selling software, you might be known as an account executive. And in every industry, the position is going to be different as well. But now, let's go ahead and talk about the earning potential. And by the way, if you're interested in getting into this career, I'm actually going to be hosting a one day live event workshop where I'm gonna be spilling all the beans on exactly how to become a remote closer. Because I do think this is one of the absolute best careers you can go into if you're the right type of person for it. And this is going to be a live Zoom session with me. You'll get to talk with me directly and ask me questions. And there'll be a presentation component where I'll be spilling all the beans. And then at the end, you can ask me any questions that you want. And I'm trying to make this as affordable as possible so I priced it ridiculously cheap and you can check it out down in the description as well as the pinned comment below. And by the way, it will be going live exactly three days or 72 hours after this video goes live. So you can check the date by looking down in the description as well as the pinned comment below. And if for whatever reason, you're not able to show up for the event, or if you see this like three weeks from now, and obviously the event has already happened, the same link will allow you to access the recordings. Now let's go ahead and talk about the earning potential. Yeah, no money. Remote closers make about $75,000 a year, according to glassdoor.com. And there are many remote closers that make over 100,000, 200,000, even over a million dollars a year. A million dollars? Again, it depends on the position that you go into and there's certain positions that are gonna be much more lucrative than others. And that's why I recommend going into the right specialty, which is what I'll be going over in the workshop. So high ticket sales specifically, which is basically where you're selling some sort of online course, coaching, consulting, or service gets paid around around $122,000 a year. So it really does pay to go into the right niche or specialty. So when it comes to the earnings potential, and especially since you do not have to have a college degree or previous experience, this one is phenomenal. This might be one of the absolute fastest ways to get to six figures if you're like a 17 or 18 year old and you don't wanna to go to college, but you wanna make really good money. Oh, give me money! Next, let's talk about demand. The career of remote closer is expected to grow at about 8% over the next 10 years, which is excellent. And you can see that it's on a steep upward growth trajectory. Now, this is one where if you look it up on a site like Glassdoor, you might not see that many positions open. So for instance, Glassdoor says there's about 2,600. And that's good, but it's not great. And the reason for that is because this is one of those careers that doesn't really have an established infrastructure. There's not even a name that everyone agrees on. It's called like 10 different things. But with that being said, me being in the trenches, knowing this sort of thing and studying this thing all the time, I can tell you there is a ton of demand for this career. But with that being said, you do have to know your stuff. You know, closing is not something everyone can do. It's probably not something everyone wants to do. This is definitely not going to be a job that's gonna be great for just about everyone who goes into it. But when it comes to the demand, this one is amazing. I demand satisfaction. Next, let's talk about satisfaction. So there's basically zero data on the internet on the job satisfaction 
satisfaction for remote closers. But with that being said, sales is one of those jobs where you either love it or you hate it. And even though there's a good chance you're gonna hate it, I still think everybody should have at least one sales job in their lifetime because it is going to teach you some of the most in-demand skills that you will be able to use for the rest of your life. And it's no surprise that sales is the most common career that millionaires and billionaires have in their past. And many people credit much of their success to starting off in sales. So when it comes to satisfaction, this is definitely not going to be for everyone. Well, I tell you, I don't feel like entirely satisfied. A lot of the time sales is very high pressure. And if you're not closing the deals, you probably aren't gonna be making any money. Where is the money? And so you basically always have to be dialed in. This is not one of those jobs where you can kind of take a half day off. But for the right type of personality, this is an amazing job and you're absolutely gonna love it. Chili. So for instance, for me, sales was probably my number one favorite job that I ever had. And I didn't end up doing it forever, but I absolutely love the time that I spent doing sales and it taught me so much. So when it comes to satisfaction, this is definitely mixed, but for the right type of person, this one is amazing. Next, let's talk about X factors. And this is basically how likely this is to be automated by AI or outsourced somewhere else and how flexible the job is, as well as what kind of in-demand skills does it teach you? Well, the first thing I want to talk about right away is this is one of the easiest jobs to work remote. So I know a lot of people want to work remote, and this is one of the best jobs to do that with. And when it comes to AI, there's absolutely no way that this job is going to get automated. When it comes to outsourcing, there's no way it's going to be outsourced. I have business owner friends that have tried to outsource these types of jobs to the Philippines or to India, and it just does not work out. So the attitude is not going to speed things up any bit at all. If you are selling to Americans, for instance, you're probably going to have to have American sales reps. Then when it comes to flexibility, this is one of those jobs where you might start off in this position and work your way up within a company, and nobody knows a company these customers better than the sales rep. So it totally makes sense. And on top of that, it's a position that's going to teach you in-demand skills that you can use in just about any industry working for any business out there. And there's a lot of different careers that this type of skill set is going to feed into. And on top of that, it's going to help you if you want to start a business in the future. This is probably the number one skill that you could possibly learn when it comes to starting your own business. So when it comes to X factors, this one is absolutely off the charts, incredible. So for the overall score, I'm gonna give this one a nine point five out of 10. There's no such thing as a perfect job. This one does have its downsides, but for the right type of person, this one is incredible. And like I said before, if there was one job that you can go from making $0 to making $100,000 a year with no college degree, no previous experience, no like lucky background, like being born into a rich family or anything like that, this is the job. And like I said, I'm going to be diving deep into this in my workshop, which I will be doing exactly 72 hours after this video posts. So definitely check that out. Out. The link's down in the description in the pinned comment below, and I hope to see you there, and it'll be awesome to meet you. And by the way, if you haven't seen it already, I did make a video on 21 of the highest paying work from home jobs, and you can check that out by clicking right here.